Alright, just gonna explain my backpack really quick. It is a Coleman Max Elite 38L. First of all, as you can see from the front, it has these straps. I use them to secure my uh, pliers. You know, for this one, I usually use for the, the clipping edge to tie knots really quick. Also, to get stuff out of fish. Um, this, this set I actually just found in the body not too long ago. It's good for reaching down deeper, not getting your fingers near, uh, I don't know, like catfish or anything with teeth. So I'm pretty psyched to use that for the, the salt water. It still works. I found it alongside the, the grass. Um, also, right here in the strap, I have a carabiner, just a regular little hand towel. It's got some fish junk on it and some, some tract and stuff. Uh, obviously, just use it for, for wiping your hands off if you handle some fish. Moves back and forth. This side, there was a water bottle here. I use it. That to carry a water bottle. Got some Ritz crackers, and there's actually a little spinning bait. But you know, I usually use that for my hydration side. On this side, I have some gum and some insect repellent. That usually stays there. All right, the pockets. This one's a little one. Um, I think I had some cookies in that. So like, I usually put some food in here. I've got usually put like little tools. Uh, my wallet goes in here. If it's raining a lot, well, I have a life proof, so it doesn't matter. But before, I would put my, my phone in here. But usually that keys wallet goes in there. Uh, first big pocket. It has little pockets inside. You got like wacky O-rigs. Uh, some little screw head bullet weights. Some other little small things. Extra hooks, trailer hooks. Some clicker beads. Some, uh, oh, I forgot what they're called, but... You know, to keep the, uh, the weight peg. Um, got this for, you know, for fishing whenever you got to leave. And if you catch something, the bell ring. Got my knife. Got some more glass beads. To go on before bullet weights. Got some easy floral for the leader. Got my little box. That's for, like, those are, like, little crappie stuff and little spinning stuff. I don't ever use that, really. In the bag with like little baits, my three inch. These are actually bass pro. I just put it on here because it, it was in like a little plastic box. I just want to put it in a bag. There's little finesse sticks, little drop shot minnows. I've got some random tools and stuff in here. You know, I've got like a scale, got a can of some bang, got my spike it garlic chartreuse. And other random things in there. Oh, got another power bait and some hand sanitizer in there. Yeah, just in case I'm going to go somewhere after fishing and you don't want to smell like fish. I've oh, got trailer plastics. And that's about it. That's just like the random stuff. Smaller, uh, smaller baits um, and other little things to go on when you're rigging. Next up. First off, it has a spot where, you know, you can usually pass your headphones through there and you put your whatever MP3 player. I have some swim bait hooks just to keep them up and out of the way. That's where I usually keep them. This has plastics, you know, like these super finesse worms that uh, I've been catching a lot of good bass on lately. This is my plastics. You know, let's grab a bunch out of here. Uh, there's some pocket chunks. There's actually a jig in there with them. Uh, striking Cinco's. Some flutes, uh, that's a variety of stuff, some craws and other worms, uh, some white frogs, some other topwater frogs, and the marine, the zoom lizards, those finesse worms I showed you earlier. Uh, it's all in there. I usually try to keep them close together, like the, the craws together, worms together, some tubes. Also in that one is this right here. I even have it labeled out. See so if you can see that. You have 316 drop shots, bullet weights, some drop shot and wacky rig hooks, uh, some shaky head jigs, some these are four aught laser trocars, and a couple mustads, three aught laser trocars. They're all EWG off, uh, you know, wide gap EWGs. This says G lock two aughts, some round bend two aughts, 
and some 180 tungsten and some beads. So we're going to take a look at that. So like it says, you know, some laser trocars. I got batteries for some reason. My little jig heads. Um, these are all my drop shots and my wacky, my wacky rigs. I've got like the little the weedless guard. Uh, a bunch of weights in here, bullets, um, drop shots. You know, these are kind of like the ones with the the regular not not regular drop shot little pinches, but the circle ones. Those I'll just throw in there sometimes just for for cheapness, save some money, and then you know if I lose them, I don't care. Uh, like I says, four threes, these are twos, so that goes there with the plastics for easy rigging. And then the last one is plastics. I got like a little small box just in case I want to like carry, you know, throw a couple different, you know, hard baits in there and carry it in my pocket for like hardware shorts. And if you look from the top, you can see two, and they're 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 in here laterally. Let me close that earlier. This has my Cinco's, my Cinco box. I'll show you some of the colors really quick. Um, this is my dark side. Get that zoom lizard out of there. Um, black, red. That's black neon. There's a purple and green. There's like a purple Mardi Gras. It's a Bass Pro one. Zoom in. Or refocus. You got white and blues. And I think that's a baby bass. That's white. It's a smaller one. So I put it in there. Uh, these are all my chartreuse tails, some watermelons, green pumpkins, and regular pumpkin seeds. All the chartreuse tails. This is the Bass Pro, uh, what's it called? Um, tilapia. No, it's green pumpkin magic because it got, has a blue flake. Uh, straight up green pumpkin, some green pumpkin chartreuse tails. This is in the wrong spot. Watermelon red flake. And they're all watermelon red flake. So that's my Cinco box. I use that one a lot. And it's also in a different box. That's why I know it's my Cinco box. Let's see. Hard baits. Just gonna go through those really quick. Um, this is my has top water frogs, top water poppers, uh, square bills. This is my craw square bills. Uh, some more craws. Has one that I got in the mystery tackle box. It's a little craw, river to sea craw. Uh, that fire tiger is just in there. I don't know why it's there. Uh, this is my Arbogast one. It's got a popper, jitterbug, small jitterbug. These are my small 1.0 size square bills right here. It's like a, I don't remember. It's one of the shads. It's more of a natural color. This is my uh, bluegill color. Try getting a picture there. Blue girl. Blue girl I catch a lot off this little one as you can see. Let me tell on the picture, but it's got a lot of scratches on the back. That is my money maker right there. I got this one. This one actually found in the bayou. Not in the bayou, but in the grass after they mowed. Cleaned it up. Threw some uh, new hooks on there because the other ones were all jacked up. This is my chartreuse black back. Get that one back in there. This is um, an actual Strike King. Uh, KVD 1.5, the whatever chili craw. This is another one I found. I think it's an old Strike King. Found that alongside the bayou. Um, big red eye shad. This is one I got from uh, Mystery Tackle Box. I don't remember the name of that one. It's pretty good. And got like these little tiny ones that I managed to find. This little one. Got some random little spinners in here. And then these little tiny little tadpoles, size ones. Those are tiny, tiny ones. So that's all my cranks. Somebody's one in there. Of course, I need to reorganize that. Take some of the ones out that I don't use a lot, so I can have more room. Last two boxes. Let's see. This is my random box. It has lizards, a bunch of different colors. These are some different types of craws. I don't know why there's a crankbait in there. This is a fatty Z on a jig head. I have to separate those because they melt if you put them with regular plastics. Actually, they change the consistency. They're already messed up. Uh, some flukes in here. This is like my white stuff. 
This is some curl tail worms, red, purples, uh, tequila sunrise. These are my trick worms, just random colors. That's a uh, squirrel tail. Let's see, I like, already did that. That's, um, oh gosh, I forgot they're called. They're big bite baits. They're some little minnow shaped one. I don't remember. I also have a 5 out laser trocar in there. I have no idea why. Oh, in my box. This is going to have my spinner baits, top waters. Yeah. yeah. So here you go. Top waters. These are um, some super spooks. Some jerk baits in there. Uh, you got your lipless crankbaits right here. I have a sexy shad, big bill. I built H2O Express in there. I probably just took it off and left it in there. Got a little white beetle spin. This is all my my um, spinner baits. And notice they all have trailer hooks. Those are super important to have. And I usually try to lay them in there so they're not so they won't get hooked together. But Sure, if I pulled one out, they'd all come out right now. I haven't used spinner baits in a while. You got this guy, my big H2 Express bluegill. I have a clear super spook, a couple little shad imitators, skitterwalk, baby bass, and whatever that thing's called. That guy. Can you get him in the picture? There you go. It's got like a, it moves. Pretty well in the water. That's one of my swim bait type picture. But obviously the trebles are all put together, so that's a baby bass. I don't really throw that a lot, but I probably should. I haven't been out the pear lane where all the big bass are lately. And chartreuse skater walk. Have to get those unhooked in a little bit. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Other little thing about the backpack. If you look, it's got this padding. It's got like a nice top padding right here. Two on the sides and nothing right here where your spine would be. It also kind of helps with circulation of air. Uh, you can really feel those like on your hip bones. It's nice and comfortable. There's nothing pressing on your spine. This is on your upper shoulders. You know, it kind of helps alleviate some of the pain. It's got nice padding here. It's got like a little shock clip here so you can kind of keep those together and whenever you have the... Oh, right. It's a hydration pack. So has the hydration sleeve right there. I don't have the pack in there right now. But you know, the hydration bag would usually go in there. Comes out the hole with the little tube. It comes over here through the strap and you can put it, tuck it inside that. Like that. So that's pretty much my bag and how I use it. Probably weighs about three or four pounds. It's nothing too bad, but like I said, it has those things in the back. It's pretty comfortable. And that's how I use it. It also has like a nice big handle right here that I can usually pick it up real quick and carry it along with me. Um, no real complaints about it. I've had it for, let's see, probably since March or so. And it's done pretty well. It carries a lot. Uh, I usually manage my, my plastics. You know, I'll take take out plastics that I don't use a lot, put them in, a, in this cardboard tray that I have. I have all my plastics at home. I have them organized. So it's it's not too heavy. Same with the, the the hard baits. I'll take them out every so often. The ones I don't use and the ones I don't catch a lot of fish. And then you know if I do want to fish something different, I'll take some out and then put some other baits in that you know maybe I don't fish a lot and I want to get better at fishing them. And that's about it. All right. Thanks for watching.